Hi, I'm Ms. Raishis, your media specialist, and today we're going to talk about some resources that you can use as you start your argumentative paper. The best place to start for topic brainstorming and research is Macanvia, where we house our online databases. So let's go to macanvia.com. You can also get there from the Learning Commons webpage on the high school site. When you log in, enter Shakopee as the site name, and then you can select Shakopee Senior High School from the drop-down menu. The username and password are your regular school credentials that you use to log into your MacBook. On the left-hand side, you'll see a link for databases. Here you'll see all the databases that we have at the high school. However, I've set up a group for your class so that you can see the databases and ebooks that will be most helpful for this class project in a one-stop shop sort of way. Now, why use databases, you ask? Why shouldn't I just Google it? Well, in a nutshell, it's just more credible information that's easy to use, and it's great preparation for the kind of research you'll do the rest of high school and into college. So in Mac and Via, go to Groups and find Argumentative Resources for English 9. In the group, there are a few multi-user ebooks that everyone can access at the same time, a couple links, and then there are a few online databases. Let's start with those. As you can see, the databases have this little globe icon on them. And there are a couple databases that are set up in a pro-con format and are great for topic brainstorming. Let's look at Facts on File, Issues and Controversies first. We'll click on Open Now. If you already know your topic, you can use the search bar at the top, but the topics listed below are sort of nice to browse through if you're not sure what do you want to choose for your topic. Two categories that would be helpful to check out for this assignment are Science, Technology, and Computers, and Media, Journalism, and Social Networking. Under these categories, you'll see broad topics like cell phones or fake news. If you click on one of these topics, you'll find even more specific research questions that are organized in a pro-con format. When you select a question, you'll find the ProCon article that gives extensive information on the topic, including an overview, what each side argues, and other statistics. The News tab pulls up newspaper articles from around the world that deal with the topic. You can see on the right-hand side here that you can restrict your search to pull up only the most recent articles. To get the citation for the sources you find here, click on Citation under Page Tools. It will automatically default to the MLA style, and you can copy and paste the citation to your bibliography. Isn't that easy? The other database that is set up in a similar format is Points of View Reference Center. I can use the search bar at the top, but some topic categories to check out for this research paper are Internet, Media and Communications, and People and Society. If I click on cell phones, I'll find a broad overview of the topic. Then if I click on points of view, I'll see that broad topic broken down into smaller, more manageable research topics. I'll just scroll through these points and counterpoints and find a topic that interests me. You'll see topics like uh, cell phone bans, texting and driving, identity theft, how cell phones affect children and their health, I'll choose this one, take a look at the abstract at the top, and then I'll go to the points of view to see the two different sides of the issue. So I think I'll take a look at this counterpoint. Smartphones are a useful educational and social tool for children and parents. And then I can see the article and I can see that side of the argument. Just like in the other databases, it's really easy to find your citation. Just click on Cite and scroll down to the MLA version and copy and paste that into your bibliography. In addition to those points of view articles, you can also find related magazine and newspaper articles to support your topic or the counterclaim. I'll just click on magazines to restrict it to just magazine articles. And you can see that you can limit the publication date just in case you want articles from say the last three years or five years. Going back to Mac and Via, there are two other databases that look a little different from the first two. In Student Resources and Context here, you can either use the search bar at the top or you can look at the categories below. 
I'll take a look at the video games topic under Science and Health. The overview at the top shows some of the issues commonly researched with video games. And then if you scroll down, you'll see different content organized by what kind of material it is. So for example, here are the news articles and the magazine articles. Going back up, some of the audio content in the featured content section is super relevant and includes a transcript, so this might be something worth checking out. Let's also take a look at this video game addiction reference article. As I skim through it, I can tell it's going to be great for my paper. So I will grab the citation in Citation Tools so I can record it and come back to it later. The last database we'll talk about today is Explora Teens, which is great for finding magazine and newspaper articles that support your topic. So let's say I'm doing research on selfies and mental health. It looks like my results list for this search is actually really current. The latest article is 2015. But if I needed to, I could limit my results to a certain time period here, and I can also limit the type of source I'm getting by choosing specific source types. And to find the citation, I just need to click on the magnifying glass, and click on full citation, and then I can find the MLA version. Going back to our group page, you'll also see some multi-user ebooks that might be helpful for your research. They have the little book icon on them, and all students are able to access these at once from Mac and Via. To get the citation for these books, just click on the little I and click Cite to find the MLA citation. And finally, I included a few links that might be helpful for you. The first one is the link to our Learning Commons catalog that includes our hard copy and ebooks right here in Destiny and Discover. And then I also included the link to the New Zella Issue Spotlight. Well, thank you for your patience in learning about databases. I know they are not the most exciting thing in the world, except maybe to librarians, but they are super helpful and will make your research life a whole lot easier. Good luck on your research, and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.